I'm Ray Stein at your leisure at Flaming Gorge Reservoir, where the wildlife guys are conducting a battle against an alien invader that threatens to take over this popular trout lake. Above the surface, everything appears peaceful and calm on a gorgeous fall day at Flaming Gorge Reservoir. But dip deep down and you'll find trouble. There's a burbot. Trouble spelled B-U-R-B-O-T. Uh, burbot is a freshwater cod species that was illegally introduced into the Upper Green River drainage several years ago. Their most recent explosion in population to date is uh, Flaming Gorge Reservoir. Biologists from Utah and Wyoming are using a series of nets to trap and sample the fish in the gorge. The nets here in Hideout Canyon are full of mostly suckers with a smattering of trout, bass, crayfish, and burbot. Big burbot? Getting burbot out of the nets is a challenge that has lured office manager Patty Santa from behind her desk in Green River. It's a puzzle that you can't quite figure out. Look at that knot. They're native to the east side of the Continental Divide in Wyoming in the Wind River and Bighorn River drainages. We assume that they were brought over by uh, some selfish individual from the Wind River drainage and placed in the Green River drainage to establish a fishery for whatever reason. Burbot have creepy, snakish bodies with slick, slimy skin modeled in a brownish, greenish, grayish camouflage pattern. Its wide, ugly mouth filled with oversized tongue and bug eyes give it an alien, almost prehistoric look. A face even a mother bourbon would have a hard time loving. They can grow to over 20 pounds and three feet long. East of the Rockies, they are no problem with plenty of small prey fish to eat. But here in the West, they're a disaster. We're obviously concerned about the potential impacts. You know, it's just another predator, another mouth to feed. And those mouths are gobbling up the goodies of the gorge. Their stomachs reveal lots of crayfish, but something even worse. Kokanee eggs. This is what we're very concerned about. Kokanee salmon eggs are a particular favorite, and that spells big trouble for one of the most popular game fish at the gorge. Not what we want to see, you know, they're going to have impacts on kokanee from direct predation, eating the kokanee themselves, <laughs> but this could be the bigger problem. Burbot used the single barbel or feeler on its chin to seek out the spawning beds and slurp down the row. Kokanee are already declining at the gorge, the burbot just makes things worse. Kokanee's obviously a, a fish that uh, doesn't need another predator. Um, their, their numbers have been steadily declining over the years. Biologists are calling on anglers to help with the burbot problem. Any treatment or mechanical means of removal is impossible. Only hook and line will work. Harvest burbot. Harvest as many as you can. That's uh, one of the reasons we went to no krill limits on Flaming Gorge for burbot, just so that people can, can uh, catch and keep as many as, as they want. The good news about burbot is that as bad as they look, they taste great. What he lacks in beauty, he more than makes up for it in taste. So come on over and catch a bunch. You'll really enjoy these fish. I'm Reese Stein at your leisure at Flaming Gorge Reservoir.